Hi there, and welcome to a revisit of the HDMI extender over Cat 5e and Cat 6. I made a blog post about this extender, uh, I think, two years ago, something like that. And it's something I want to use in the new house to transport uh, mainly video and audio, but also try to transport keyboard and mouse through the network uh, to the places where I need it. Um, okay, well, let's take a look and let's see what comes with the box and which cables and setup I'm going to use with it. Here's the box. As you can see, I've already taken out the stuff, but I'll overlay what came with what. Or we can get a view. Comes with the user manual and it states that it's a 50 meter single Cat 5e or 6 HDMI extender with KVM. Okay. Uh, Booklet has some information about what uh, formats you can use, etc., uh, etc. Et okay, if you look at these boxes, I'll put the original equipment on top of them. Oh. There we go. Basically, it comes with two power adapters, they're both 5 volt, 1 amp each. And it comes with a transmitter unit and a receiver unit. And these all have different ports. The receiver unit has two um, USB input ports and an HDMI out. It also has RS232. And it has an IR in and a 5 volt DC 1 amp, as I said, and of course a Cat 5e6 Ethernet jack. The transmitter unit, it has HDMI in, also R232 and USB to PC, and then it has a DC 1 amp, uh, some LEDs, the other one had LEDs too, IR out, so here you can uh, do infrared uh, pass-through and of course Cat 5e6 again. These are the power adapters. And if we look in this box there's still some stuff left. These are the IR or infrared uh, cables. We're not going to use those so I just leave them in a the package. And it comes with a, a USB A to B plug to hook up to your computer uh, to enable USB. Okay, enough of the box. Oh, let me put the manual in. You don't actually really need the manual because, well, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, what I also have prepared here is uh, I'm going to use this USB cable. It's a bit shorter and basically when doing something like this, the less signal loss you have, the better. So most often shorter cables are better than long ones, especially when you're at the edge of specifications like this. Okay, and I have two thick HDMI cables. Uh, they're stuff I tried out from China and they actually work pretty well. They weren't that expensive, but they look cool and they're flat stable cable style. And yeah, I like them. We have a Logitech keyboard, which I'm going to use to test with. It's uh, missing a keycap, but it's still <laughs> working just as well for testing. So we'll use that and then, well, let me see if we can get it. Yeah, we're going to use this giant bunch of Cat5 7, or Cat5, Cat7 cable with keystone connectors on it. This is my testing cable. Uh, the whole house will be wired with this type of cable. So that's why I'm using it in my testing setup. And I have two uh, half meter Cat 6A 26AWG cable uh, shielded connected to it. 
And in total, it, uh, the length is about 36 meters. So we'll see how that does. And last but not least, we have my Asus laptop. It's a quad core with an NVIDIA graphics card, but most importantly, it, it has an, uh, let's see if I can get that in focus. It has an HDMI out, which we'll be using to feed the signal. Okay. So, how do you connect this? Let me take this away. So, as I said, we have a transmitter and a receiver unit. And uh, since we'll, on this table we'll be transmitting, we'll leave the receiver for in a bit. And we take the transmitter unit. We get the power adapter, or one of the power adapters. There we go. And we plug it in the power port over here. And you see two LEDs, a power LED and a video LED. The power LED is lit because it's receiving power, but the video LED is off because it's sensing that it, no video is incoming. Okay. Let me put that... Oh, wait. Second thing we need is the USB cable. And oh, basically you just plug it in. And then we have to input HDMI. So I take one of my HDMI cables and we also plug that in. We won't need this one over here. Okay, so that's the basic setup. Um, you have HDMI in, USB in, power, and then we connect one side of the uh, UTP cable you wish to use. And that's it. You're done hooking up the transmitter. Let me take my laptop. Okay. And basically, the only thing you have to do is you hook up the HDMI cable. Like that. And you take the USB cable and you hook it up in the same way. There we go. Let me put this over here. Okay. And now we're done at the transmitter side. Let's go to the receiver side and hook that up. We're now at my TV. And here I have the keyboard I mentioned. The UTP cable that's coming in. I have a HDMI cable already connected to my receiver. The receiver box or receiver module and the power cable or the power adapter really. So let's hook that up. There we go. Let's put in power first. Then we take the HDMI cable and hook it up like so. And last step is, or well, we can connect the keyboard also, is connecting the network cable. We see the screen changing. And there we have it. I'll show you the screen in a minute. So let me show you that my TV is actually displaying the screen right now, or my laptop screen. As you can see, this is my laptop screen. And if I disconnect the UTP cable, the screen will go away. It has no video. Let me plug it back in again. And there we have the screen again. So that seems to be working quite well. Let's follow the path of the cable. Don't mind the mess, please. This is a long cable. As I said, it's about 35 meters. And there you have it. I disconnected the USB because it was disconnecting, connecting the whole time. 
I had to disconnect the USB cable because for some reason I, it kept getting disconnected and it isn't working. I think it's because of the length of the cable I have uh, in between. I'll try it with a shorter cable in a minute. So let me show you video and audio is perfectly working. This is a royalty free music clip from YouTube. Okay, so let's put it halfway to show you this is really uh, working. So here you can still see half of it on my screen. But if we look at the TV, we see half is also playing over there. So let me make it big on the TV. There we go. Uh, let's uh, take a look. The extender is capable of extending 1080p completely, so there's no recompression or anything like that taking place. And so all audio formats and video formats are fully supported. This is playing in 1080p 60fps and it looks beautiful. Okay, let's follow the cable a bit. So here we have the receiving unit with power and UTP going in and HDMI coming out. Uh, if we follow that. There's this big stack of cable. As I said, it's about 35 meters without the separate uh, short cable leads. And here it is going into my laptop, which is playing the video. Yeah. It looks and sounds great. So let's um, let's also try it with some different kind of cables and see if that also works. I'm playing a different song and uh, we have this blue cable connected. It's a normal Cat 5e cable of 20 meters. So let's take you along. As you can see, it's, it's here on the ground. And it's hooked up to my HDMI extender. Oh, I forgot to switch the, the display. Hold on. There we go. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, looks and sounds awesome. So that works too. And to show you it's really being extended by the extender. <laughs> well, there you have your answer. Well, I quickly reconnect. The last thing I wanted to show you is that the output is recognizing my, uh, well, my receiver really, because my res my TV is behind my receiver. So it's my UMC 200 from Emotiva. And we're running a native 1080p at 60 Hertz. And we're doing RGB output. So no chroma subsampling or something like that. HDCP is fully linked up and supported, so any copyright protected information is passed along through the HDMI extender. And uh, HD audio is also connected from my video card to my receiver using the HDMI extender. So basically all features you get with HDMI are 100% transparently supported. 
and well this is a quick and easy way to extend your HDMI connection for 30 40 meters uh, using good cables which would be hard to do with HDMI alone so all in all um, it's a bit of a mixed bag looking at the bad post part first um, USB extension is really hit or miss I tried several keyboards and several mice and some would work some wouldn't I, I have this little track pack pad for my TV of which the keyboard part would work very well but the trackpad or mouse part didn't so not sure what to say about that I also tried with a USB hub and it does a bit better like th with that, but I'm not sure what the problem is. I think it only supports a uh, USB 1.1 devices, and it's just very picky about what works and what doesn't. Uh, looking at the video and audio quality, it's excellent. Um, 1080p 60fps, uncompressed, all audio formats, even uncompressed PCM, no problem whatsoever. It just worked. You plug it in, you get a picture, no problem. There's no degradation in image quality, and, well, it looks awesome. So, for me, this is part of a project for in the new house, uh, where I wish to put uh, servers and an HTPC in the garage, and I want to be able to use them uh, like a KVM switch or remote display in the living room and in my office. That way I don't get any noise and I, I can still enjoy the same picture quality. And, well, I hope that's going to work. We'll have to see. I didn't uh, test the RS-323 interface or the infrared interface. So I can't tell you much about those. But from a video audio perspective, these things are awesome. And as I said, USB, I don't know what to say about that hit or miss so hopefully you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to follow my progress with a new house and any other re re reviews i do and stuff like that so hope to see you back soon